Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial and if you want to know how to create that looped alien abstract thing then just watch that video and of course everything is done with geometry nodes. So as usual we will start with our default cube, activate it, click on geometry nodes, create a new geometry nodes setup and delete the group input, we won't need that. And um, we will start with an icosphere. T just type in icosphere and plug that into our geometry uh, output so that we can see something. And we will need some subdivisions. We'll go with four subdivisions. And now we have to uh, distribute some objects uh, on our icosphere. Therefore, we will going to need an distribute points on faces node. Plug the icosphere again in the geometry node, but first we will need the join geometry node. So now we can see our icosphere again. Um, and now it's time to place some instances on it. Therefore we will need an instance, no, instance on points node and of course we will need some kind of object. I will go with the cube, of course you can take whatever you want and um, I will start with 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and some subdivisions on it and plug that right into instance. And as you can see, we got some cubes on our icosphere. And now we want to rotate them along the normals. And we will do that with an align euler to vector node. And we will plug that just in between the distribute points on faces node with the normals just into the vector and the rotation output into our rotation of the instance on points node. And there we have it. Uh, everything is lined up perfectly along the normals. Now, um, we, we want some, some noise that affects the, the uh, scale of our cubes. And therefore we will need, first of all, a noise texture. No, no white noise texture, a normal noise texture. Clean it a little bit up. A noise texture, we will need a map range. And we will plug our color output into value and the map range output into our scale. Now what it does is um, the, the map range defines what the, the minimal scale and the maximum scale. And of course the noise texture defines with this black and white noise where the maximum scale and the minimum scale happens. So um, of course you can play with these values too. Um, for my tutorial to achieve that final visual I figured out these values. So point 1.2, the detail is about 1.3, the roughness is about 0 0.57 and the distortion is about minus four, but these are only my values. No, no. These are only my values. You can play with the values you like the best. And as you can see now, we can see already something happening. Um, if I animate the noise, the little cubes begin to do something. Now, We have to change our um, distributes on points setup to from random to poison disk. 
and crank up the, the density a little bit. And now that we can see something, uh, we adjust a li little bit these values here. Again, you can play with your own values, but I have to create the visual that you saw at the beginning. Um, now I want some, some, some large cubes, so I increase the set size a lot. And now you can see that there are some cubes on it. And to adjust the scale um, of these cubes, you can play with the map range uh, values. So again, um, for that kind of visual, I figured out, uh, I played with the values and for that visual, the best values I found were these. Well, and from max to min and again to max. Now you can see something like the previous visual you saw. And again, if I animate it, you can already see uh, something is happening. Now we want to uh, add some, some edges to our cubes and therefore we are going to need uh, some subdivision. So we create a subdivision surface node. Say that's level to two and because we have now really ugly edges uh, we can increase our crease maybe something like that no that's too high maybe yes yeah, something like that should do so now mm, we have our noise texture that can be animated but how do we get a um, loop in there because it, 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 it only goes forward, um, but it does not repeat the uh, animation. To repeat that uh, noise animation, we will need a vector rotate node and a position node. We plug in the position node into the vector input and the vector rotate output into our animation input of our noise texture. Now, if you want to animate it in loop, you can animate the angle. We will just test it um, in our timeline. I go to frame number one, set keyframe, and I go to frame number 201, and set the angle to 360 and again I insert a keyframe. It's important that you go one frame after your um, defined um, um, defined uh, frame range because uh, the first one and the last image are exactly the same. So pick frame number 201 will be the same frame as frame number zero. So uh, sorry, as frame number one. So uh, to have a seamless loop, we have to jump directly from frame number 200 to 201 or to frame number one. That will be the same. So now uh, we can test it. And that should be some seamless loop uh, as soon as we arrive at frame 200 and Yes, we have a seamless loop going on. Okay, um, that was the tricky part. Now we have to add, let's see how it looks like. We can see nothing because we have no <laughs> light. Um, I created a simple area light. Um, I created a simple background, as you can see here, and I created a point light just behind our sphere that uh, lights from the back and 
give some light on the background plane. Um, the rest of it is only giving the right material to it and setting the focus right. Uh, maybe I delete the focus for right now. Um, something like that. And uh, what I've done too is I deleted the icosphere from the output so that we can only see uh, our instances. And uh, now it's time to add some material. For the material, I we have to go to the cube and create a set material node. I've already created some material uh, and I called it tutorial noise, I think it is. It's nothing fancy, uh, tutorial noise. It's just a simple material with some subsurface going on so that, that you can see the light from behind. And the other thing that I created was uh, some kind of fog. So we can create it also in geometry nodes. Just create a new cube. We need a fog material, set material, plug that into geometry and geometry goes right into the joint geometry. And we will make that a little bit bigger than our scene. That will be four to four meters. Uh, the vertices we, we can ignore. And I've already created some fog material. Tutorial fog. There it is. So that we can see some god rays going on. Um, if you want to see my, my fog material, I can just show you. Uh, it's just a simple principled volume um, material with the density of 0 0.2 and uh, anisotropy, it's a terrible terrible word for my German accent, uh, of 0 0.9. We'll jump right back into our geometry node and that's all. Um, at the end we have an animated loop. Um, to make it more interesting you can set um, some some focus point and additionally you can jump into compositing and add some clear. You have to activate use nodes then add some clear and um, add some lens distortion so it looks more interesting but of course that's up to you. So have fun with that looped animation and bring in your own instances and have fun with it.